All right, everybody. So a little update on the Forge Interactive System, which is coming next. It is still not available, but it will be available soon. This is 1.02 version. And right now what we are doing is we are creating a very in-depth interactive system based on a skeleton system. And let me show you how this looks. So previously in version one, right now, what you have is just a shader interaction with those placeholders, which looks pretty nice but it works on a single strain flowers like this one like those sunflowers and like those bushes but if you have ferns like that which contains a lot of these right now what we are doing is we are creating an advanced interactive system between the character and the ferns and we only activated it in a distance based on a ring from the character so when i get out of the way you can see the ferns we are still working on the pop out and pop in stuff like this one we're gonna fix that to blend uh, pretty good but this is just for the test and what you can do here is as you can see we have wind applied this is quicksilver fern and let me show you the interaction when you move slowly you're moving this leaf this leaf has a skeleton mesh inside and then it will go slowly back to its position you can set up those things how fast it will go back what is the mass what is the dumping and i'm going to show you how now if i go faster into this plant you can see how interactive this is and how good it looks when you start interacting with a lot of ferns over here everything here is tweakable how should they move what is the mass of the leaves how should they react to the dumping etc but this is creating very nice effect for your game and it's working pretty good the performance is pretty good right now because our character is interacting in a radius and as you can observe everything is super interactive it is per leaf physical dynamic and let me show you how if you enjoyed any of the videos on this channel and if you are a fan could you do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button surprisingly 85% of the people who watched my videos are unsubscribed your quick action of hitting that subscribe button will support this channel and as it grows we will be able to share even more free content with you here in the project i've rigged a fern from quicksil and this is the ring that i did let me go to the physical asset so this is the fern that i did and if i go to simulation you can see that it has a lot of bounding boxes which will uh, create the simulation and here you can test out how this plant will react to real world interaction like that and if you want to modify it of course you can go into the leaf here and into this physical body you have mass you have linear dumping you have angular dumping and you can also enable the gravity if you want this leaf to work with the gravity another thing that you can touch is constraints so if you go to the constraints here in the constraints you can set up how this should twist how it should swing what is the target velocity what is the strength of the target velocity so play around with all those settings so here the target orientation the target velocity and when you go to the physical bodies over here you can play with the mass linear dumping angular dumping enable gravity etc and you can create different kind of motion per foliage so each foliage can interact differently depending on the mass of the foliage so the first step was to rig this quicksilver foliage then the next one was to add the physical bodies and then create the constraint connections so let me show you how i've rigged this i've downloaded fern samples from quicksilver bridge after you download some foliage samples what you need to do is right click go to the asset action and click export that way you're gonna export it as fbx after i import fbx into maya now i'm gonna show you how you can quickly rig this I work with Maya, but if you work with Blender, you can see a few tutorials on YouTube how to rig. So in Maya, go to skeleton, create a joint, and the first joint should be in the middle here between those two. So I'm just creating this joint, and I'm gonna name the first joint as root, as this will be the root of my plant. The next one is I'm gonna create another joint that will be the base of the plant. Then I'm gonna start moving through the leaves depending on how much detail you want i'm gonna be in the middle between very detailed 
and optimized. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bone over here, put a bone over here, put one here and put one over there. So this is my first leaf and I'm going to put a name leaf zero. I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to open. I'm going to do the same for the next one. In this way, I know the hierarchy of the skeleton mesh and later on in Unreal, this will help me out a lot. So the next one is to create a rig for this one. So I'm going to put the bone over here. The first one I'm going to put here another bone, one more here. And I see that it is curved. So I'm going to make one here and that's it. Okay. And this bone, the last one will move that part. And I'm going to make a little bit of different renaming because if we have more leaves, it will get complicated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put here leaf zero, zero, and I'm going to put leaf zero, one, leaf zero, two, leaf zero, four, leaf zero, five. And here I'm going to put leaf one, zero. This way in Unreal, it will be more clear to me uh, which bone is which. So I know that this is the last one from this one. Okay, so right now we have our rig done. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to select my root. I'm going to select my mesh. I'm going to go to skin and I'm going to go to bind skin. Now what I'm doing is I'm binding those skeletons to the mesh. And if I start rotating the skeleton, you can see that we are rotating the plant. Right now, what we have here is when we rotate this bone, we are also rotating some vertices over here. So the next step is I need to paint the weights. So I need to say that those vertices over here are not influenced by, those, by this bone. So I'll go to skin, paint skin weight. And right now we are working with the leaf 0.2. So I'm gonna select leaf 0.2. I'm gonna scale my, my brush to be a little smaller. Let's try with two. And I'm gonna paint over here after setting up the opacity to zero. And I'm saying that this bone won't influence anything over here, right? So I'm just painting it. And now if I try to move it, you can see that it no longer affect those vertices, but it's kind of a straightforward process. So do this for all the bones over here. If you enjoy the content and wish to support the channel, or if you're interested in accessing the files for this project and everything that I've created so far, including the landscape auto material, the water shader, the fog material, the blueprint mega kit, the interactive water system, the interactive forage system, the PCG path, the PCG ditch, the PCG forest pro, and every other tool and shader I've developed and will continue to create in the future, visit my Patreon page at patreon.com slash cgdealers. By selecting a tier, you can acquire the assets you want while supporting the channel and the ongoing development of new tools and enhancement of the current tools. For those who simply want to support the channel, I've introduced a YouTube membership option. By joining, you will get access to our private Discord lobby where I'm most active, providing priority support. Please note, this membership doesn't include access to download tools, shaders, system, blueprints or any other content like in Patreon. Enroll in this membership if you don't want to pay for Patreon but want to donate a Coca-Cola or a coffee. This support helps me stay fueled and continue creating videos for free for you guys. Thank you so much, now let's deep dive into the video. The first thing that I did is I rigged this plant. Uh, I originally got it from Quixel and exported as an FBX. Then I do the rigging over here. I do the naming per leaf. Then I paint the weights onto my foliage so it can move like that. This bone affect this part, this bone affect this part. And I did it per skeleton, all right? So each bone has different influence onto this plant. After I did the rig, I exported it into Unreal Engine. And here in Unreal Engine, you have the burn one rigged skeleton. If I double click, you can see here the, all the bones are here. And what I did here is I've added to each of the bone a physical body and a constraint. Let me show you all the bones and let me show you the constraints. So each bone has a physical body and this physical body is getting the shape of the bone like that. I created a box over here and I overlap it with the shape of the skeleton. 
and I did that for each of the bones. Then I do a constraint. Uh, by doing the constraints, you are telling which one is connected to the next one. And the new system, how it works, let me show you. It will be pretty easy. You're gonna have a date table, and here in this date table, you're gonna add a new row like that. And in this new row, you're gonna put the static mesh and the skeletal mesh, all right? Pretty easy. And here you can set up the radius, the half height, the flattering, the stiffness, the critical damping, the mass, and the push force for this one. And this is the first step, pretty easy. The next step, is you need to go to your character, double click on your character, open the BPC forge interaction and add the static mesh of the forge that you want to interact with. That is it guys, just two steps and you're gonna have those integrated into your project. And keep in mind that you also have a lot of different control over this foliage. Then just go back to your game and start playing with your foliages, all right? So this is pretty much the update. If you want to get the interactive forage system, visit my Patreon and grab it now. Thank you guys for your attention. This version will be very soon on my Patreon. See ya in the next video. And before I end up this video, I want to let you know that I've created a Blueprints Masterclass for Unreal Engine 5. It is available right now on Udemy. So if you want to expand your knowledge and not just only create art pieces in Unreal Engine 5, but create some characters, create some game logic, my course is the perfect solution from beginners to intermediate Unreal Engine 5 users. The course itself is 15 hours long and it has all the foundation that you need to kickstart your blueprint knowledge in Unreal Engine 5. So if you want to keep evolving yourself beyond just creating art in Unreal Engine 5, enroll now.